So two weeks today, I went home. I wanted to get my tools, and I also wanted to do something with my account at the bank. But all those activities didn't happen. Okay, so I was disappointed. But what made me really, really disappointed was that there were lies in Karen's hair. Okay, I had left her for only two months at my mom's place and I came back and I saw lies in her hair, uh, in her hair. So I was very dis disappointed. I was very devastated. I didn't know how to get the lies out of her hair and she has a very thick, long, strong, dark, natural hair. I didn't want to touch the hair. I didn't want to cut the hair. In fact, I don't want to cut Karen's hair at all, unless she asked me to cut them. So I was very worried. I was very, very, very worried. And I didn't know how to treat it. Okay. Guys, so you welcome to my channel. Um, I've been on and off. And I know it's challenging for me balancing to uh, these things. And it's because I also don't have some of the things that I really, really need. And um, I want to find, you know, ways to either buy a new one or do the video here. I'm at the bathroom. <laughs> and so, um, how do you get lies from a baby's head? Okay, how do we get lies from a baby's head? Baby's scalp is not as matured as us, ours. So whatever you are treating in baby's hair, you have to be very, very careful. I wash Karen's hair when I was at home. I do it every time and I do it with my son. Since she, she was born about three months, I started doing it every day. And how come I saw life in her hair? So this is what happened. When I went home, she had or she, yeah, she had problem with her eyes, so I decided to take her to the hospital for the, for them to take a look at her eyes. And when we got to the consultation room, and we hadn't even seen the ophthalmologist, I saw something in her head, so I decided to pick it up, and I saw there were this. Pets with pets we find in graves, the maids, those kind of pets, but it looked different. It looked very small. It looked quite flat in my in my in my fingers. It was very flat. And I was contemplating on what it was. And whilst I was con contemplating, I saw some in her head. I picked it up. I saw another. So I, I put this one on the floor and I picked them. Pick them. So within a short period of like two minutes, I had picked about 10 lives. And I was like, no, I don't understand this. So I took it out. And while we were outside, I picked it again. It was, there were two. So I just picked it from the behind of her hair like this. And I picked it. And they were in my hand. So I was asked, why? What is this? So there was a nurse who was standing beside me. And I asked, do you mind if help me identify this? And I opened my fingers like this, showing her, and she said, this is life. In fact, she, she's older than me, a little. So she, she identified and said, this is life. Wow, where did you find it? It's in ages since we find life. My children don't even know about life. I was like, lady, I'm not, I'm not talking about your children. If this is life, then my daughter has been suffering for a long time because I, I, I came home, I saw that she's scratched it. Her hair very often. I washed it Saturday. I was home Friday. I washed it Saturday. I washed it Sunday, Monday. And she's still scratching. And I've picked just things from her hair, which means that there are plenty of lights in her hair. And I could see at the, the, at the four hair like this, this part, there were quite whitish, whitish, which doesn't look like dandruff. Three year old child shouldn't have dandruff in the hair. So I knew they were next, they were eggs of the light. So I had to do something. I was, you know, I, I felt goosebumps all over. I, my mouth was filled with saliva and you, <laughs> I don't know how, it, I don't know how to explain it to you. I just didn't like the feeling. I, I felt how 
how she felt like I've had life in my hair before. So I felt how she felt itching all this while and nobody had noticed it and they were eating her uh, eating them the nutrients from her hair you know so i quickly searched online to find how to get home remedy on how to take that life out of a baby's hair and i came up with a lot of you know um solutions but i just want to tell you how I solved mine and how you can solve yours. I'm not going to unbraid my hair because that's not a time for me to unbraid. I wanted to wash it and show you, but I think it's going to be a long video. So I'm just going to show you how I did it, okay? So I'm going to use this part of my hair to show you. So I found lots, lots of um, remedies. Other people were asking me to cut the hair off and it was like, no, it's a no-go area. I'm not going to cut any hair off. So um, I went to Google and I saw lots, I saw lots of remedies. So the first remedy which I used for caring hair was garlic. Garlic. So I I I grinded the garlic. Yes, garlic. I grounded the garlic and I added onions to it. No, garlic and onion is good for hair growth. Don't be dismayed. Garlic and onion is good for hair growth. Apart from the pungy smell that the strong smell that it has, it's good for hair growth. So I I was okay with it. And you know, garlic and um, onion are things we eat every day. She's used to them, right? And she's a child. I don't need to use um, harsh chemicals for her hair. So I gr I grinded the garlic and um, uh, how do you call it onion and as it was pig in a pig form i unbraided her hair so whilst i unbraided her hair i picked the piece and then i smeared it on the on the scalp and i kept doing it like that smear it on the scalp and then smearing it on the scalp and then i made sure i smoothing it smoothing it really really well smoothing it and i also used some for the edges and i braided it again into one piece like this okay and i moved on to the next one so that's how i did it and i moved on to the next one now after that i covered her hair the entire hair with a shower cap okay i covered the entire hair with a shower cap and i left it on for uh, 45 minutes so after 45 minutes, I used the shampoo that I have for her, baby shampoo for her hair, used the shampoo for her hair, washed it. Now, there was, there was still some paste left, I mean, uh, left residue, okay? But that, was, that shouldn't be a problem, but that wasn't a problem. That same day, the second method was that I heated her hair. I used a dryer. You should have seen how she was screaming. Oh, and <laughs> I had to ask her grandma to hold her for me to, you know, use uh, the dryer on her hair. So I used the dryer to dry the hair. It wasn't long, but I wish she had allowed me to make it longer, you know, and dry it for a long time. And I braided it. She was even sleeping when I was braiding it. That night, I couldn't sleep. <laughs> I was checking every hour, every minute to find light in the hair. And what made me sleep was that I saw that I looked in the, I, I removed the uh, hair covering, the one she was used to covering her hair when she sleep. I used the cap, I, I removed the cap, and I saw that one of the light was there. So that gave me, you know, uh, the go ahead to sleep. After a few hours, I woke, woke up to see and then I checked again and I saw another light, another light in the, the light was, you know, going up, it was weak in the hair. So I picked it and I killed it. It means that the onion and the garlic did well. I loved how it worked on the scalp and I loved how it made the girl sleep so, so, so comfortable because I could see that while she was asleep, she kept scratching her hair. So she slept very, very comfortable. And I'll say that you can use onion garlic for killing lice in the house, in your hair, from a baby's hair, actually.
So the next day when she woke up, I did a treatment. I used cloves and coconut oil. Lice cannot move freely when the surface is very slippery. Okay, so I used coconut oil and gloves. So I, I had coconut oil, I prepared it somewhere. I picked it and then I grinded gloves and then I kept the coconut oil in a glass, in a ceramic bowl, or you can put it in a glass bowl, in a cup. I kept it, I boiled it in water. I kept the glass in water and I poured the coconut oil and the some of the gloves that I had mashed, you know, inside. So after a minute, I saw it simmering and I saw it mixed up. I took the glass which had the mixture, cloves and coconut oil, out of the water, the heated water, and then I strained it and I had my mixture. Just the strain the the coconut oil and the gloves in the hair. So I have something like this here. This is gloves. Um, this is a homemade something water that I made. Gloves, rosemary, and coconut oil for my hair. So I this is how you do it. You just fix it and you just lay it in your hair. Okay, and then you massage it into the hair. So that's how you do it. Now the last method that we used, or the last two methods that we used, the last one was peppermint oil. So the same procedure, I pouring it in the bottle. You can add, you can add comfort, comfort to the peppermint oil because your baby is a child. Just you know, take a small portion, put the coconut peppermint oil, just like you did with the coconut oil, pouring it in the um glass or ceramic bowl and then keeping it in hot water and for the coconut um the peppermint and the comfort to melt when it melts put it in a bottle spray bottle and just smear it in the hair and then you cover it up okay you cover it up you wait for a few minutes you can wash it off the last i used was the comfort okay and share butter that one my mom is the one who did that method. She's an oldie, so she knew these methods. And she was looking at me while I was going up and down, buying all these things, and she was laughing. She didn't know that she, Karen had lice. I wouldn't have seen it. That's what she told me. If she knew Karen had lice, I wouldn't have come home to meet that there were lice in Karen's hair. So she did the last method. She grinded um, metallic ball or camphor, and she poured it in um, share butter and we use it every day to smear the hair when she was going to school and that's how come we got um, lice and nits out of Karen's hair and you can also use it for your hair if in case you find out that you have lice in your hair or nits in your hair and you don't want to cut it if cutting the hair was a no 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 for me so guys thank you for making time to learn how to get lice out of your babies and you know um they pick lice um they pick lice when they come in contact with other people or lice get transferred from one person to another and especially if we use combs and we don't wash the combs the the nets of the lice stay on the comb so make sure you always wash your combs and as school has reopened your baby is going to get in contact with other babies especially when they sleep on the mat and it has nits in them and it's going to, you know, um, the nits is going to get transferred to your baby's hair and it's going to spread. So make sure if you do this treatment, your baby should be in the house. Karen did not go to school for about two days and we worked on the, on the hair and now she is lice free. So guys, if I provided you with value, Hit on the like button, subscribe, and also share this video to help parents get lice off their baby's hair. Until I meet you some other time, kisses.